Florida, it turns out, is leading the nation in fraud and has had more than 44,000 identity theft complaints last year alone. That's all according to new data from the Federal Trade Commission. Joining us now, Mike Terrio from the Terrio Group, here to tell us why you how you can prevent becoming the next victim and why we don't want this to happen to us. Basically, it's Not terrible. I can't believe it. 44,000 cases in one year. Yeah, you know, we like coming in number one but not in this category. Yeah, now, Florida's number not. one right now, 300,000 people across the country. This is becoming widespread. It's becoming a big time issue, but we wanna make sure we help people address this issue and talk about different ways we can help protect them and take the necessary steps to make sure that they're not a victim of this particular situation. You know, just this morning we ran a story, mm -hmm. the local police have been warning everyone about IRS scams. We keep getting them, especially this year. Yeah. How can we prevent people from becoming victims? Yeah, at the Terry Group, we run, we run taxes and we run this problem. We actually had one client call crying, an 82-year-old victim who was crying, saying that she was going to be arrested if she didn't give them $5,000. And it's a scam. And we have to make sure that people are aware of these scams. And always, if you ever have questions, contact your local authorities, contact professionals. But if they're, the IRS is not going to call you. The IRS is not going to send you emails. And so making sure that you understand the communicative forms of the IRS is going to be very important to take these initial steps to protect yourself against these scams. But they're, they're becoming a big problem. And right now, during tax season, a lot of important financial paperwork sitting probably right at home on our tables and yeah. desks. Uh, what paperwork should we keep protected? Where should we store them in our homes? Sure. What should we be getting rid of? Well, 56 Six percent of all identity theft is, is based from people getting documents they shouldn't have their hands on, you know, things that have social security numbers on, and even the place of birth, because your social security number was based upon where you were born until 2011. So having these things readily accessible for other people to steal is a problem. But when it comes down to taxes, you want to have your tax documents or your taxes for the last seven years for auto protection. Okay. But when you look at credit card statements, 45 days max, make sure that there's no fraudulent activity on those, four, on those you know, credit card statements, mm -hmm. and then shred them. And look at cross-cutting shredders, making sure you get in from both sides, that, that way it leaves no uh, evidence of anything else out there. Uh, when you look at your financial statements, bank statements, again, probably about one year is a good rule of thumb. That way you're prepared for now and for next year for taxes as well. And you know, one of the things, we do have a shredder at my house, and mm -hmm. I, we shred everything. Is, sure. is that the best way to go if you're not sure to shred it? I, I would always be safe. You know, I would always err on the side of caution. Credit card offers are a big problem that we see for people where they get these credit yes, card offers. Yes. They say, I don't want the credit card. They throw in the, in the trash, they move on. Well, all someone has to do is know a little bit about you get online and they've got your credit card information very scary it's so easy these days it's almost too easy but you know one thing you have to always realize is we're not just talking about the paper documents anymore either we're talking about the digital world and so you have to look at encryption understanding how to protect your your, your documents if you have them on a data you know storage type of scenario we have an encryption vault that we use for our, our clients mm -hmm. but it's a highly encrypted vault to protect these things so you can try to protect yourself from hackers as well it's not just paper anymore all right mike thank you so much for thank joining you. us we're going